Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today, we're getting off the farm. I have like nice clothes on today, like normal people clothes, not farm clothes. And it's freezing cold. <laughs> Go figure. We have our windows open today. So if you guys can hear dogs barking, it's because it's Ellie. If Ellie can hear us, then she will bark and bark and bark. She wants to be outside all the time. Hello, kitty. Come on, you goose and duck. Come on. A goose pooped on Sophie's shoe and it's falling through the holes oh. in her Crocs. You get the holes. I have other stuff to get. Do you guys see how Leo puts his, stretches his head. He's got that really long skinny neck and he stretches his head out. This is what really made me think he's a boy. He stretches his head out really far and keeps himself usually between predators and the duck to protect her. Hey, come on. So before we can leave the farm this morning, we have the farrier. She's coming to put Storm's shoe back on. So I need to get up there really quick and find the shoe because I don't remember where I put it. I also have a little bit of goat proofing to do. So I'm going to take this stuff up with me. So if any of you guys have the same kind of memory that I have, then you're probably thinking, yeah, I can understand why she lost the shoe. <laughs> These are some of Chino's supplements and medication. That was lucky. So you guys haven't seen the video yet but maybe it'll be up by the time I post this video. Basically, Sylvie was riding Storm on grass and I find grass is the hardest thing to keep shoes on if a horse is gonna pull them. They did almost the whole entire lesson and then at the very end, he lost his shoe. So she started the lesson with shoes on and when she got off of him, we were noticing that he didn't have the nail marks on his feet and we we're like, what the heck? But yeah, he bent it a little, got the shoe off. So I noticed the other day that this spot, actually Sam told me, is open and the goats can get in here and that would give them access to getting out of our property. So I have to fill that today. The farrier is here and we still don't have Storm and Sophie. So Sophie's out there. She's bringing Storm in. Hurry up, she's here! Sam and Gabby have gone to get hay and I've seen comments from people not understanding like how our little farm dynamic works how every job is distributed equally and how it works is that we all do what suits us best. Like Gabby's not a morning person so she does night chores. Sophie and I are morning people so we are in the morning. Gabby gets hay because Sam and her like to get hay. Storm is so happy today. Storm is so happy right now. I do not know what the heck is going on with him. Like he's just so calm and relaxed. Maybe it's because he just is finally realizing he's home. Like he's home and like he's home because he was away for a year and I told you guys that when he came back he was definitely acting different or maybe it's because he finally has all the horses understanding that he's the boss but anyway I'm trying to figure out I'm trying to find Sam has this bag of tools that I need so the farrier actually gave us a really good idea of what to do to support Chino's feet while he keeps going into these founder flares while we while we heal his belly. I'll try and show you guys, but basically uh, we're waiting for Gabby to come home and I'm going to get her to hold his feet up while I do it. But basically it's putting this like support on his frog so that when he touches down it changes how his, the pressure of, of where he touches down so it will keep him comfortable while we're waiting for the founder flare to go away. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited. I love learning. I love learning about horses and about like all the things. So Chino's in his stall today, but maybe if he's more comfortable when we get his, this stuff done to his feet, he'll be able to go back out. But they love it. <laughs> but her new best friends. Her new best friends are duck and goose. <laughs> Leo and Lucy. Leo loves them. <laughs> Fall is definitely in the air. And then over here. I hate this job. <laughs> I love this job. I really love building these kind of fences because they're easy. Uh, and I've never been like a builder or a renovator or. I hate the stable. I like it. We're just making sure that they can't get out. All right, that is done. Next. Next thing we have to do is Chino. 
One thing I we didn't I've never really showed you guys because it's a mess is Sam's tool area. Like in our old barn, he had it hidden away so I could never use anything. <laughs> but now I think I did show it to you before. But now it's sitting here inside our tack room. Like look at all the screwdrivers. I don't know how to work a screwdriver, and he doesn't even use screwdrivers. But he has like. Look at that. This is the drawer that I use everything from. But the guy has like oh, so much cool stuff. And then he has this one too. More screwdrivers I could be using. I need toolboxes for my own. Do you know what I need? All right, Sam, because he complains when he touches stuff. For Christmas, I want my only my own honeydew set. I want my own toolbox with all my own tools in it that's like this, but nicer, like more girly. Christmas idea for me. You ready? I won't do Christmas. So, for, Christmas so for Christmas, I want my own tool set. One that's tall, not a skinny little tiny short one that I have to bend over for, but one heck's a tall tool set. like yours, your toolboxes, like that. But if you could find a pink one, that would be great. If not, I'll take they could have pink. Bet you could find pink. Yeah. And I want all my own set of tools. I want my own staple gun and staples. I want my own pliers. I want my own screwdrivers. That's a fortune. Good. I'm worth it. <laughs> Doesn't have to be fancy. Just my own set. Okay? Always good to have good Christmas ideas for people, but I would love that. I like to have my own set because there's so many things that I would do if I could like figure out the tools and master them. You get used to using tools by a process. Like nobody just picks up a screwdriver. Okay, screwdrivers are easy. But people don't pick up drills and just know how to use them. You get used to using them. I've never ever had that. I've always like had someone else do that stuff for me. So I've never learned tools. And I, I wanna learn tools. I hear goats and they made it to the little area that I need to clean. Um, see, there's a fence in between to stop the horses from going into that mess, but the goats can get in there and that's good because they're eating all the tall grass and weeds. And all that needs to be cleaned up. I need to cut some trees today because uh, Gracie wouldn't go in this field because the, the big branch was moving with the wind and it scared her. So we increased Chino's pain meds today. That's why his eyes get all weird because he honestly, uh, it's just the pain meds, but he has an ab, he's probably getting an abscess and he's having a founder flare because he ate a few leaves from the tree. Sam, can you go cut down that tree while we finish up? That's the hard part is that like we try and make his environment perfect for him, but he's so big and he's like so determined to eat grass and to eat leaves, even though we're trying to keep him going so that he doesn't get more sick. He doesn't, under he doesn't understand that he can't have leaves. Do you? Anyway, I'm helping Gabby fix his feet, put some stuff on his feet. She's making a duct tape boot, two duct tape boots, because our farrier told us an idea of how to like take pressure off so that he can walk and be more comfortable. And I'm just snuggling with him. I'm literally just <laughs> snuggling with him. And it makes me tear up because like, oh, if he would just let us do what we have to do to help him be safe, then it would be great. And he might have to spend the rest of his time in a stall, but the problem is that when he stands in a stall all the time, he gets depressed because he's sad that he's not with his friends and then he doesn't eat as well. And when he doesn't eat as well, his immune system goes down, even though we're pumping him full of so many things. It's just this whole situation where it's, it's frustrating. Like we take two steps forward and then we go one step back. And I know that people have been saying like, they can go backwards on the medication while, because their stomach gets bad and that's the problem. Like all the drugs are compounding the, the issue. His tummy isn't good, the bacteria in his tummy isn't good and we're, we're trying to like fix that as he's on the drugs. But him going out there and reaching up, he's like literally jumping up to reach the trees because we have it already so that he can't just stand there and eat the leaves. So now we're having to go up really, really high so that he can't even jump up. But it's just, it's just sad. It just makes me sad because it feels like we're trying so hard and he just keeps going backwards because of the stupid stomach thing. It's the stomach thing that's the problem. It's not the Lyme disease. Lyme disease, I fully believe is curable and is, and is like, 
you can just fix it, but it's the complications that come with Lyme disease, like his feet, right? <laughs> He's like, yeah, Laura. <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing? We all love you though, right? Tell him now. So many people out there praying for you. So many people out there praying for you, but they tell you, don't eat the leaves. On dancing, yes, we've traveled far, seen so many dogs. What we ended up doing was putting some padding on his frog, so it changes the way he walks. He's still a bit nervous to walk. We ran out of duct tape, so we have a duct tape boot that we put on instead. Oh, there he goes. It's going to be a whole new thing for you. Anyway, we're gonna go and get some more supplies because we ran out of duct tape and also the, what's the vet wrap. So we're gonna go to the tech store right now and get some of that stuff and come back. This guy is doing so well on the antibiotics. I suspect he's getting an abscess. So anytime he eats anything green or even any extra hay, extra grain, like anything more than his body is already used to, he, it causes him um, to have abscesses or to have a founder flare, which is like the thing I'm most scared of because with a founder flare, there's always a chance of rotation and we're keeping up on it to make sure that he's okay. But every time he has a founder flare, he can have rotation. And if the rotation gets bad, then that's the end of the line. So that's why no green stuff, mister. <laughs> The goats are making me laugh so much. Like I love seeing them around the whole property and the horses are loving them. They're, they love watching them. They're just hilarious. Sam and I both shop separately at the tax store. So we come in, he buys his own stuff for the farm, and then I buy my own stuff. He buys like the fun stuff that he likes to buy for them. The it's really weird they don't have those salt looks anymore. The, like, the, the red rocks? They oh. only have the rocks ones. Oh, I like the rock ones better. Probably most people buy those, that's why they're better. I wanna show you guys what we got. We got some shavings. Sam got a bunch of light bulbs. I bet you that's what he's doing. He said that he found some light, some motion detective detection lights. I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you when I find them. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys what we got today. Um, this is the probiotic that we give to Chino. We've been giving it to him for a long time. Uh, we give it to all of our horses. It's not making a difference at all. It's supposed to be one of the only ones that I can get in this area that has live bacteria and I've been looking but I've been talking to the girl that that works at the tax store and she uh, had a call out to the to the company this company I love this company we use a lot of supplements for them this company anyway this probiotic is apparently combined with fiber so that it lasts survives in the body longer and it's freeze-dried it's probably all freeze-dried but anyway it's supposed to be really really good so I'm making a switch and we're gonna try this one. If one thing doesn't work, try something else. I've learned that. So we got two of those, a tiny little one and then this bigger one. Also, we run out of this stuff super fast. It is brewer's yeast. We add that to the probiotic and it, our vet says it will help heal his gut, which his gut is the big problem right now. Uh, because his feet are sore again, I bought some vet wrap. I bought all the cutest colors. <laughs> they actually had a bright orange that was really cute. I would have bought bright green if they had it. I absolutely am loving having this first aid kit. Like you guys have no idea how much I love having this first aid kit. It has been a dream. Kick over 
So I bought a bunch of those. I love replenishing our first aid kit. Up here I have these buckets too. They have different things in them. Not first aid necessarily, but a lot of the stuff that we need. Um, so we bought all that. We bought more treats because we keep running out. They didn't have any big bags there. I love to buy the big bags. Another thing that we give to Chino, which I love, is this Vantiox. And we've been giving him this for a long time too, which is so shocking that the boy could be so run down. It is um, an antioxidant. It's for muscle protection and that's what he needs. It's full of vitamin E and selenium and zinc and whoops. So I love that. So um, then he gets his, then he gets his antibiotics. He gets pain pills. He gets anti-inflammatories like it's not new what we've been doing for this horse to try and it's not like he just suddenly got sick and we've been trying to fix him we've been we've been supporting his health for a really long time it's just stress got the best of him and he got run down he stopped eating because he got stressed and then it just all got worse from there so the one change that i'm going to make though is that we put all of his his powders in his grain and the girl and Gabby and Sam say that he isn't eating it all like they leave it he leaves some so instead of putting it in his grain I'm gonna syringe it into him and make sure that he gets it so that he's getting exactly what he needs so I also got some more pylons I feel like if I threw these for honey she would chase them I feel like she would too so he was gonna play with honey with them but our her western trainer wanted her to use pylons in her lesson for like markers and stuff and I bought some just a couple weeks ago just before we moved actually and I don't know I, I have They're no idea where the they are trailer over yeah there. so anyways I haven't seen them since we moved so I ended up buying a bunch more you can never have enough pylons especially when Molly thinks it there for her so we made our own bug spray I had a recipe that I used I shared it in a video and people are asking if it works good it works amazing it works at least as good as this ultra shield so it's good also on our trail ride yesterday I put this swat on Penny's face and on her ears worked amazing oh, come quick she says come quick it's really cute oh my gosh so the thing about ducks and geese is that if you don't have a whole flock they'll make whatever other animals you have here their flock so they're protecting the horses. That's what they're that, that's what they're they're deciding to be close to are the horses. Hi baby. So they're sleeping with the horses. That's weird. <laughs> so we're not keeping him in his stall on purpose. When his feet get sore, it's hard for him to walk and it's not good for him to walk around. So um if he can walk out, he can go out of his stall, but he wasn't able to walk out this morning. He was too sore. He wants out. Good boy. Total success. He's like fine. He's so the farrier okay. had us pad up his feet a certain way to help him. And it's definitely helping him. So anyway, we cleared up the trees. Even better than we did before. But that's the problem. Uh, other supplements that all of our horses take, including Chino, are oil. Um, and Penny gets this. This pure glucosamine. Just as a, just as a support for her. Oh boy! And there's my old girl coming. Hi, Pen. Hi, sweet girl. Yeah. Yeah. I love you.
down. We figured it out. But now that she's down, she wants to roll. Good girl. Oh my gosh. Good pony. I'll go get treats. Do you want me to get treats? Oh, now she's down there. She's eating the grass. Do you want me to go get treats? So she tried to pick up her feet. You want me to go get treats? She's so snuggly. Gracie's over there like all the other horses were worried about honey and now they all went back. But Gracie, she's like, I need my baby. So on today's episode of What Can We Renovate? <laughs> Sam is taking over the trees. Did you drag some branches down to the goats? Yeah, a whole bunch down there. Did they come running? They went looking at it and then they ran away. I know, we have weird goats. They're supposed to love branches and, and brush. They like grass. <laughs> But another reason that we're doing it is because there's like a driveway here so it can go around all the way around and then like you drive around so it would oh copies out there I love that Sam's afraid of heights so anytime there's a ladder involved or climbing a tree Gabby does it oh my gosh that makes me nervous Whoa! Whoa! Are you cutting? Whoa. Oh no! I didn't get. No. <laughs> I didn't catch it. Wow! Oh, they're that's a pear tree. Chino is still rock of life, you guys. I'm so grateful for our farrier to show us what to do to make him more comfortable. Cause he's out there walking around eating. No, these things, I think, I have to look it up, but I think goats love these. They're basically turning up their nose at all the branches we took down, but I think they'll like this, this tree because... You're dragging it all down to the goat field? Yeah. I don't think they need that much. Don't you know that you're beautiful?